Welcome to another ballpark tutorial. Today we'll be going through how to use Figma prototypes and ballpark together. So the benefits of using Figma and ballpark together is that you can take a prototype and then set multiple goals against that prototype that you want to track. That means you can follow whether your participants are actually reaching certain points of your flow that you want them to. And if they're not reaching those, you can find out why through follow up questions. We track each goal and that means you'll be able to see whether the goal was completed, the duration, uh, of that goal and plus how many sort of clicks and misclicks uh, happen during that process. You can also view heat maps on where people clicked um, in your designs and you can also enable the webcam and screen recording if you want to replay the video back of someone completing that task. So let's get started. So here I have a example project for a food delivery app survey that I'm trying to conduct. And I've got a number of questions that I've already set out and asked, so multiple choice questions, ratings, and so on. And I want to add a Figma prototype to this survey to be able to find out whether people can complete a particular task in that prototype. So you can see I've got my Figma file here, and I've got a simple flow of a few screens which link together to get to a point where someone can change their address in the profile section of my fake app. So the first thing I want to do is go to click add new step and then go down and click prototype task. Now I want to ask the question uh, and frame the task that um, I'm asking participants to do. So here I want to ask them to find the profile section and then change their address. And once you've typed in your task or your question, you can then go to Figma, click on share, Make sure the sharing settings are anyone with a link can access the URL. Click on copy link, head back to ballpark and paste the link in the space within the step. Once you click on add, you'll be able to pick the start and goal screens. So the start screen is naturally where you want someone to start from and the goal screen is where you want someone to get to. So we have the start screen as the homepage feed and the goal screen will be the point where someone saves the new address in the profile section. One of the best features of Ballpark is that you can record the webcam, the microphone and the screen. That means you can replay exactly what the participant did with your prototype as well as get the data of all of the clicks, the duration, plus if they hit the goal or not. To enable this, simply click on participant media and switch the options on which you need. In this example, we're switching on the webcam, the microphone and the screen recording. Once you've done that, you can click on preview and see how your survey or test looks before you send it out. I'm just going through the steps now answering the questions, they all look good. And now this is what the participant will see when they try and take the prototyping task test. They will be able to enable their camera, select the screen they want to share, and then start the task. They'll also get a reminder of the task at the bottom left hand corner if they're on desktop and on mobile they'll be able to access this through a button. And as the participant clicks through and attempts to change their address in this app, we're tracking every click and when they hit the goal, the task is complete and they can go on to the next steps in the survey or the test. So this all looks good. Let's look at an example response to see the types of things you may receive once you create your survey or test. So here in my responses table, I have all my responses and I can see each answer in the table. If I click on the view response button, I can see the individual answer for that participant and scroll down to see each answer and then any video attached to an answer. So if I click on the left hand side and go down to the prototype task, I can see there's a video attached with the front facing camera and the screen recording. And once I hit play, I'll be able to watch back the recording to see exactly what the participant did 
I can also view the stats for this particular step and then make some decisions based on that. And that's about it for this tutorial. If you have any more questions about Ballpark, feel free to reach out to us using the information on the screen now.